Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. That storm system is going to be working its way into the northeast, but for our area, it's too mild tomorrow for anything other than just plain rain. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll go down to the uh, city cam. And what I want to show you here is the uh, northern edge of the cloud cover, actually very prominently shown here on our city cam. You can see this line cutting right across our view here through Providence. To the north of it, nice bright skies. Boston, full sunshine, barely a cloud in the sky, but you know, especially Providence and Point South, it's been very tough to get the clouds to break uh, through the morning hours, and I think even this afternoon, while we may see some clearing, it's probably going to end up being short-lived. About 43 for your temperature right now. 39 is what it feels like when you factor in that north-northwest wind at about 7 miles an hour. Very dry air again today. Humidity at only a 45%. Radar, nice and quiet across Rhode Island into southeastern Massachusetts as you travel up uh, 195 despite the cloudiness. Uh, the air again is uh, very dry. We're at 40 in Boston, 43 Providence, 41 Newport, low 40s in Westerly. We haven't changed since about 8 o'clock this morning with those temperatures. So uh, the cold air are trying to drain in here from the north. And you can see where, again, those clouds are hanging on across our area. Showers suppressed to our south as high pressure is building down. And we've got that cold front that's come through. So this afternoon, skies will try to clear, especially north of Providence, about 40 to 45 for your high temperature. And at 2 o'clock this afternoon, showing how those clouds try to move south, at least temporarily. But then later on this evening, they start to roll back in. So we're mostly cloudy at 1130 at night. And rather than the temperatures falling overnight, they'll hold steady, even rise a few degrees towards morning. So we should be back to the low 40s by say uh, mid-morning. Anything that's falling by 5 o'clock in the morning, very light tomorrow, some sprinkles and light showers. And then later in the uh, late morning and afternoon is when I'm looking at a period of uh, widespread rain showers for our area. But temperatures will be mild in the low 50s. For your temperatures this afternoon, some slow clearing, dry and cool, 44 in Charlestown, 41 for Coventry, 43 in Wickford. Northern suburbs, you're mainly sunny, just some thin clouds sort of turning our skies a bit hazy, 40 in Burvo, 41 in Johnston, and 42 degrees in Cumberland. And in southeastern Mass, uh, clouds to some sun, about 43 in New Bedford, 42 in Seekonk. Dry cool for the evening commute, about 37 to 41. Temperatures at 8 o'clock at 36. And then notice we hold steady at midnight. We start to climb in those pre-dawn hours. Seven-day future cast, pretty busy weather week here. We're looking at rain showers for your Wednesday, Thursday night into Friday. Could end up being a wintry mix. It's a system we're going to have to watch. I don't think it'll be uh, all snow, but it may not end up being all rain either. So we'll keep you updated to dependent on the track of that storm and then another one for around the Christmas Day time frame that we have to iron out those details too. So we'll be busy here next couple of days, but tomorrow looks like just rain. All right. Thanks for the update, Michelle. And now we want to